What's up, bros? Today we're in uh, Peterson, uh, New Jersey, to attend a historic reopening of the Hinchliffe Ballpark. It is a former uh, Negro League um, baseball stadium, which was abandoned for a very long time, but uh, which was uh, recently uh, renovated. And uh, this season, New Jersey Jackals, an independent league baseball team, is gonna play its uh, home game there. The ballpark is around a 15 a minute walk from uh, the train station or uh, the bus station where most people arrive to Patterson. Patterson uh, doesn't have a very good uh, a reputation uh, because people somehow think uh, that it is uh, very criminal. But I've been uh, uh, here several times and uh, it is not uh, really the case. Obviously it's not uh, the safest place on earth earth but uh, it's not nearly as criminal uh, as for example Camden New Jersey or a New Jersey state capital Trenton. In my opinion the level of criminal and danger here is comparable to New York where a New Jersey Devils play or to Atlantic City where some of you may, might have been for the National Sports Court uh, Convention. So if you're a petite uh, woman, I wouldn't walk uh, here uh, during the night, but uh, if you are a man, I wouldn't be too worried. It looks like I'm the only white non-Hispanic person here, and uh, there is absolutely no police, but uh, I feel uh, very, very safe. People are actually uh, very friendly. I think uh, there are a lot of uh, Peruvians here because I see a lot of uh, Peruvian supermarkets and uh, restaurants. So in line with my previous experiences uh, with Patterson, it is uh, a nice uh, little town, obviously on a poorer side, but you shouldn't be worried at all if you plan to visit it. The ballpark is in the historic district. In the 19th century and early 20th century, Patterson was a great industrial town, and uh, some of uh, these industrial buildings are still left, although not all of them are in uh, perfect condition. This is Patterson Waterfalls which are the reason most people actually come to Patterson and hydropower from uh, this uh, waterfalls uh, is actually the reason uh, there was so much uh, industry in uh, Patterson. It was in fact called a uh, Silk City due to massive silk uh, manufacturing facilities here and now this area hosts a national historic park to commemorate uh, that uh, era and ballpark is uh, actually a part of this uh, National Historic Park now as well. You can actually see the ballpark from the waterfalls, that uh, white building uh, in the background. Approaching the stadium, very minimal police presence here, but everything is uh, very safe. Some historical art at the walls of the stadium. This is the ticket line. Tickets are between 15 and uh, 20 dollars. I bought uh, my ticket online, but if you buy here in person, you save uh, a three dollar online fee. In my opinion, uh, the 15 dollar ticket price is a uh, very, very steep for independent a league and baseball because here yeah, you can uh, get in to watch uh, Mets or Yankees for below 10 bucks. This is uh, actually the line to get in. It's not a uh, super long but it moves uh, very very slowly because uh, they have uh, trouble scanning tickets. Yeah, took me decades to get to this point. Finally at the ballpark 
It is a pretty small field actually, which is uh, perhaps not surprising for an independent league. There is no roof and unfortunately benches are just uh, these metallic butt hurting benches without any back support. This is the mascot of Jackals, Jack the Jackal, a pretty funny bro with a gangster chain on uh, his neck. game just started, New Jersey Jackals in white and are visiting uh, Sussex County Miners in black. Oh. And uh, whoop whoop whoop, the very first hitter immediately hits a home run. We're just in the third inning, but the amount of home runs in this game is insane. I've literally seen more home runs here than in all baseball games I have attended before together. This is uh, the combination of uh, two factors, I think. Uh, the first one is that uh, the field is uh, clearly on a smaller size. And uh, the second is uh, that uh, pitchers are simply disastrous. In MLB I've seen two types of pitchers. The ones who throw simple trajectories uh, very hard and uh, then uh, the ones who are, are throwing uh, trickier trajectories but uh, slow. Here pitchers are literally throwing simplest possible trajectories at the slowest possible speed. The attendance is not uh, mind-blowing uh, by any measure. They claim that there are already more than uh, 1500 people at uh, the ballpark, but to me it uh, looks more like uh, 500 people. The atmosphere is in general uh, pretty lame. Uh, nobody is uh, chanting or anything uh, like that, not even uh, being loud. I think I might be the loudest person in the whole ballpark with uh, my Sussex sucks chants. All the food at the ballpark is served by Wendy's. It is uh, expensive and uh, the selection is poor. For example, they don't have... Uh, hamburgers, they don't have uh, chicken tenders or essentially anything more sophisticated than a hot dog or an empanada. So I really recommend that uh, you buy food in these food trucks before you enter the stadium and you can uh, bring the food uh, with uh, with you that's uh, not a problem also if you don't want to pay for your ticket you can get a perfect uh, view of uh, the game for free from uh, the parking lot some pretty amazing views of uh, downtown patterson and uh, foggy midtown manhattan from uh, this ballpark i have also been to uh, this ballpark before the renovation and my general impression is that uh, the renovation is uh, somewhat cheap it uh, doesn't really convey the spirit of the ballpark which uh, it had uh, when it uh, was uh, abandoned it seemed that uh, there were a lot of uh, these uh, art pieces and carvings at the walls which were like completely removed uh, which uh, I don't don't like at all <laughs> You can also see a little bit of uh, the waterfalls from the southern tip of the ballpark. The team store is small and uh, essentially only has uh, t-shirts and caps. The prices are reasonable and I actually thought about getting a t-shirt because if you replace L with S you'll get a New Jersey Jackass t-shirt. I also wanted to get a mascot uh, toy but uh, Unfortunately, it uh, sold out.
Overall, uh, my impression is uh, not very positive. Uh, it is a very cheap stadium uh, renovation. It's a very low level baseball. There is absolutely no atmosphere in the ballpark. Uh, an expensive food court with uh, poor selection. The level of uh, the baseball, I think uh, it is uh, a below single A level. Uh, last year's MVP of uh, this league uh, got uh, signed uh, by Padres organization, I think, and uh, he's currently struggling in uh, a high A league team. In general, it's not clear to me why the league is called uh, the Frontier League, because uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> so far from the frontier of the baseball. A good thing is that I managed to catch a ball. It is in fact uh, pretty easy to catch a ball in uh, this ballpark uh, because the field is so small so a lot of balls are flying out and uh, the attendance is quite poor so not a lot of uh, competition. Going back to the station, Jackals won the game 10-6. It is uh, 7.30 p.m gradually getting dark, but uh, no safety concerns at all at this point.